Hey everyone, my name is FluxTrance and I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you this tutorial series on the new campus expansion for City Skylines. Today, we'll be talking about all the new free content coming alongside the campus expansion. First up, we have Libraries. The Public Library is a new education building found in the Education tab. This building provides a boost to both entertainment and education within its radius. This patch also includes the Academic Library, a new unique building found in the Level 5 Unique Buildings tab. This building boosts entertainment, tourism, and faculty research projects if your city has a campus. Next, we have Bus Line Customization, and this is definitely my favorite addition with the new patch. Now, supported in the base game, bus routes can have vehicles assigned to them. Simply open the Public Transportation Lines Overview panel and adjust which vehicles are assigned per line with the Model button. Alongside bus line customization, a classic yellow American-style school bus is now available for use. I think this is a nice little touch for making your education-oriented bus lines a little bit more realistic. Another nice touch coming with the free patch is Citizen Employment Details. Now, selecting citizens shows both a place of employment and a job title. The interesting thing about this new feature is integrated custom asset support. With the new patch, job titles are now tied to workplace buildings. This means that when creating new workplace buildings in the Asset Editor, you now have the option to add job titles that are displayed for all kinds of different citizens. Finally, let's talk about Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0 is a new policy found under the City Planning tab. Now if you're like me, you often didn't find much of a use for industry in later stages of the game. It's easy enough to import resources and employ your citizens under office and commercial zones. Well, with the Industry 4.0 policy, Industry can become quite effective in the late game. This policy shifts all industries such that it only hires well and highly educated workers. Now, while educating the majority of your population to this level might feel like a daunting task, the 50% increase in industry production output is certainly enticing. Early game, this policy is definitely a tough sell, but it's common late game to have an abundance of highly educated workers and if your city is educated and thriving, and you're looking to produce and export lots of goods, this is definitely the policy for you. It is also worth mentioning that education has undergone some pretty major tweaks in the latest patch. Now previously, any citizen of any age could obtain any level of education. Because of this, as long as education was available, all citizens would eventually reach higher education levels and overeducation would become an issue. I'm sure a lot of you guys who played this game quite a bit probably know what I'm talking about. But now, citizens can only become educated at institutions within their age range. So this prevents citizens who never graduated elementary school or high school from getting a university level education. And as a result, overeducation won't be nearly as prevalent of an issue as it was before. Beyond that, we've covered pretty much everything you need to know about the free update patch coming alongside the new campus expansion for City Skylines. I hope you enjoyed the video, and be sure to subscribe here for more tutorials like this one.